morning. What up, girl? And welcome back, y'all, to some more Persona 3 Reload. We had some crazy episodes, so I'm looking forward to seeing how the month of December is going to go. Everybody's kind of depressed now, which is understandable, you know, eminent doom. So I'm just looking forward to the choice where we get to make uh, at the end of the month. Things have been pretty crazy lately, huh? No one's in the mood to talk either. Keep your chin up, girl. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. We still have to do our best at school, too. Yeah, we gotta act like nothing's about to happen, you know? As if the world's not going to end. That's why. All right. It looks like everyone's here now. Well, it's been a week. What's our plan? You okay, Fuka? You're just so calm, Yukari-chan. I mean, panicking's not gonna solve anything. Besides, it's been such a drag around here all week, and no one will go to Tartarus. You're absolutely right. We humans are quite resilient. With enough time, we can adapt to any situation. So, how about it, everyone? It's time we discuss this. <sighs> Have you made up your mind, Sonata-san? No, but I don't plan on running away. So you're going to fight Mix? I don't know. I mean, it supposedly can't be defeated. I mean, we're going to fight anyway. The heck? What are your thoughts on it? Honestly, this is the first time I've ever really contemplated my own death. In any case, we have to choose one way or the other. I obviously don't want to suffer, but... That means we'd have to take a life. Not to mention we die no matter what we do. Then... Do we all agree that we don't want to hurt Ryoji-kun? Is that how you feel? M me Um... That's fair. I mean, it's not exactly normal to pick how you're gonna die. What about you, Junpei? Have you decided? Nah. What's the matter? Scared? What the hell is wrong with you? You think this is a joke? Junpei, I... It's, it's death we're talking about here! Of course I'm scared! And here you all are, just chatting it up like it's a goddamn picnic! They need to chill out. You see, we're all gonna die! Then what do you think we should do? Do you want to kill him? There's nothing I can do! He's the only one who can kill him! Hey! <sighs> this whole thing is your fault! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You had that thing inside you and didn't even know it. You First off, crazy. this is why you be sitting on the sideline, bro. None of this would have happened. I'm about to, where my, where my powder? I'm about to pimp slap this dude. <laughs> You're supposed to be special, right? Then do something about it. Stop it, Junpei. It's not his fault. And the only reason we even have a choice is because he carried it. God damn it, I know! It's just, it doesn't matter how many times I tell myself. I know this doesn't fix anything. It scares the hell out of me! Bro, just off yourself so you can I go see uh, Chidori. We're all scared. I'm scared too. Me too. I've never felt so cornered in my life. Wait, did I set your door? I can't stop shaking. Same here. We're all in the same boat. And hey, I'm sorry for teasing you earlier. I just don't want to forget everything. I've learned so much since coming here. Yukatan, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you like that. Are you sure? Because uh, you was yelling at everybody. I can blame you right now, Talk with your motherfucking chest. About to get it punched so in. Don't worry about it. Right? I don't know. Where's the answer for me? Be like, nah, fuck that. You need to, you need to apologize big time, buddy. No, so I know I'm not apologizing. Sorry for being a dick. All right. Let's put a pause on any unnecessary gatherings for now. Ryoji said he'll be back on New Year's Eve. Let's just try to go about our lives until then. We have some time, so let's consider our options while we still can. Yes? Who is it? 
For Mama. Um, it's me. Huh? Close enough. Oh, come in. You don't stop by very often, Senpai. Is something wrong? No, not particularly. Is this a bad time? Oh, are you feeling lonely? Well, her dad died, so yeah. Hey, are you teasing me? <laughs> nah, I'd never. <laughs> sure. I wonder what this Nyx is like. Do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's Damn why straight. you're here, right, Senpai? You got me. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty easy to read. I've made my decision as well. The Kirijo group is slowly regaining its footing. After I graduate, the plan is for me to eventually take over as leader. Turning back was never really an option for me. But what if you die? <laughs> if we can defeat Nyx and I die in the process, then the company will continue on without me. And I'm confident they'd carry on my wishes. But from what we've heard, Nyx can't be defeated. Though I kind of wonder about that. We've got someone on our team who seems pretty unkillable too. That's true. And he's an exceptional Persona user, even if death was empowering him from within. He's an interesting guy, huh? He certainly is. Aren't you, you both know, crushing on me, though? don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, I don't think it matters if we live or die. All that really matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I know I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Is this about honoring your father's legacy? Yeah, that's part of it. But mostly, it's about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, a while back, you asked me to face what comes next with you. You didn't forget, did you? I could never forget. We'll fight together, Yukari. Good. You already know I like to show off uh, how smart our guy is. Scored the highest again. And we can get a get from Mitsuru. Perfect. I thought you were gonna go visit your mother's grave. Sonata-san. You sure this is where you want to be? Well, I was planning on visiting her, but when I thought about what I was going to say to her, it just didn't feel right. I've still got unfinished business to take care of first. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't have anything to tell Shinji right now. I've got my own stuff to deal with. An unbeatable enemy, huh? I wonder what it's like. Beats me. It doesn't matter, though. I've already made up my mind. I don't care what I'm up against. I'm gonna look it straight in the eyes. Straight in the eyes. I like the sound of that. You can count me in, too. All right. Got a text message. Oh, yeah, that's right. I romanced uh, Yuko, so now we're going on a date, <laughs> I guess. So if you romance enough people before Christmas, it looks like uh, you'll have the option to choose between any of them that you're dating. Are you ready to go? All right, guys, we're on winter vacation now. And there's four days till oh, the hey, full Luca. moon. And we got hit with the cutscene. What brings you here? Uh, nothing really. I've been coming here a bunch lately. I was where you met uh, Chidori. Sketchbook? Um. Hmm? 
Ah, oh, yeah. This is where Chidori and I first met. What are you doing here, Fuka? Oh, I went home for a bit. I've been going back a lot recently. Oh, yeah? You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're a totally different person from when you first showed up. I am? Honestly, you were kind of a wimp before. But now, Facts, though. you're something else. I can't even describe it. You've changed too, Jinpei-kun. Yukatan said the exact same thing, but uh, I just don't see it myself. I mean, just the other day, I got all scared and freaked out. I could be a real baby. That's not true. But really, I was afraid. And I'm still afraid, to be honest. But I've been thinking about it. And I don't want to sit around doing nothing. Finally. If I forget everything, that means I forget Chidori too. I wouldn't even be alive right now if it wasn't for her. And I say, to hell with that. You're only scared because you're choosing not to run away. We all feel that way. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Uka. That's why I want to protect everyone. After all, the dark hour is horrifying to think about, isn't it? But our persona's awakened, and we're here now. The future hasn't been written in stone yet, and I want to be true to myself. True to yourself. Hmm. You're really something, Fuka. Let's fight together. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this actually looks pretty legit for giving us these steps. <laughs> I think out of all of the floors, for like the floor transitions or path transitions like that, this one's been probably like my favorite. We're doing well. Let's keep up the pace. On the stairs. <gasps> oh, there's a treasure chest. Man, I thought something cool was gonna happen when we hit the 200th floor, but I guess not. What up, girl? You got a sec? Yeah, come on in. Morning. Oh. I've got good news. What I up? guess it's coming back today. Mitsuru Senpai said her injuries are all healed up. We're meeting in the lounge tonight. Don't forget, okay? See ya. Better be a good meeting. Yo, I just got the nerve to finally show up after being gone all month. Man, it's good to see you. It's been a whole month, you know. I was getting nervous. Me too. I was afraid I wouldn't see you again. I'm just a machine. I can always be rebuilt. Even if I'm completely destroyed, my programming data would still exist. Come on, don't talk about yourself like that. I was told she'd need another week for a complete recovery, but I had the work expedited. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Mitsuru-san visited me while I was at the lab. I heard what happened. You've all been through so much. Have you been well? Well, given the circumstances, I'd assume not. I'm sorry. I could have done so much more. Ten years ago, I... What I did to you was... <sighs> Fucked up? Yeah. But if I hadn't done what I did to you, you wouldn't be suffering like this. As for what Ryoji-kun said, have you already made your decision? Oh yeah. We been knew what we was going to do. I have a favor to ask. Tomorrow, when Ryoji-kun comes back, 
Please, kill him. I can't bear to see you all suffer like this. If you're in this much pain, I beg you, choose to surrender your memories. Oh, no. Nah. Even if... Even if it means forgetting everything and everyone. I guess, what are you talking about? Yeah, seriously. This is not like you. <sighs> what is it, I guess? Why? Why did I come back here? My duty is to protect people from shadows. But now, it's clear that I can't defeat them. What am I even doing here? No matter how hard I try, I can't even shed a tear for you. I guess. Why do you try to fight when you know it's hopeless? Why risk everything when it will only lead to suffering? You're all just throwing away your lives! I don't understand. We're not throwing away our lives. In fact, our eyes are set on the future. Isn't that right? Right. I don't understand. Perhaps it's because I lack a life of my own. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with having a life. I'm a machine created to protect humans from shadows. But I can't carry out that duty with the power I have. So what is my purpose now? You have no purpose. I just don't know. And no one can give me an answer. Well, yeah. You don't have the answers. The meaning of life or death isn't something someone else can just teach you. Making your own decisions is hard, no matter who you are. No choice is perfect, you know? But as long as we're alive, we gotta do something. When you see someone going through the same thing you're going through, you just wanna help them. That's how we plan on getting through this. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best explanation, but that's the idea. That's... the idea? When I saw you collapse, I realized something. I want to protect you, I guess. I don't want to forget about you. Fuka-san. There are times when you'll lose sight of your purpose and you'll have to search for it. But if you can't find it again, then what you need is to seek out a new purpose. I'm not really one to talk, but... I feel like I've learned something important this year. To truly live is to be willing to change. And we have to make those choices for ourselves. Do you think I'll be able to change too? You have changed so much. Haven't you noticed? You've even started speaking like a real human. I understand what my purpose is now. I'm a machine with the directive to live. And the one issuing this new command is me. I'll stare fear in the face and choose to live. This is the promise I've made to myself. I'm not sure how I'll do it, but perhaps that's a part of living too. Yeah, it sure is. Oh wow, so her persona is also changing. All last minute. <laughs> Athena, okay. Still not about to use you. Will you allow me to join you in this fight? You kidding? Of course! You've always been one of us. Thank you. From now on, I stand with all of you. No matter what happens. Yeah! Ryoji has returned as promised. Time for me to make my decision. Hey, it's been a while. Sure has. Midnight's just around the corner. 
When it hits, I'll lose this form, and I won't be me anymore. So, have you made a decision? You know damn well we have. Then, I'll be waiting in his room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. That's very dramatic. Ryoji-kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you have to kill me influence your decision. Like I said, I'm gonna disappear either way. I don't have any hang-ups about dying, so you don't need to worry about me. <laughs> All right, I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you decided? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm on board too. We know what that means. <laughs> I've made my decision as well. Oh, we know what your decision is. <laughs> Sounds like we're all on the same page. Better let him know then, okay? It's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Though, back then, I had a different form and a different name. It seems like you all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But, they're not the ones here right now. You are. I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and the memories of your battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up as a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day dreading your inevitable death. Nyx can't be defeated. It's pointless to fight her. Are you still thinking? Or have you already made up your mind? We already made up our mind. My decisions determine the rest of our lives. I must choose wisely. And we're going to spare Ryoji and stay as is. I guess I wasn't able to change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this. But I have no choice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you see? I am not human. I yeah, that's bring fine. death to this world until I am finally satiated. There is no need to hesitate over killing me. Now, consider this very carefully. Is confronting Nix really what everyone wants? Some things in this world cannot be changed. That's something you can't comprehend. Memories are not set in stone. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you think you should put a stop to everyone's pain and suffering? It's up to you. Only you can make this decision. Now, go big or go home. This is your last chance. Tell me your answer. Please kill me more than anything. I don't want to see you suffer. After all, you're someone very special to me. I mean, we're kind of like one and the same. I understand. As sad as I am to hear it, it's your life. You're free to do what you want with it. Yeah, he's looking all depressed. Your decision. Let's get back to the others. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. Please do. Somehow, I knew that's what you'd choose. I know you better than anyone, after all. I have this feeling like I always wanted to see you again. That's why I came back to you as Ryoji Mochizuki. 
Maybe there really is some power out there that can do the impossible. And if there is, I know you all have it. Damn straight. Oh, right. Here. I want you to have this. Music box. Okay. I know this isn't exactly the best timing, but I never thought I'd feel this way. Whenever you play this music box, I hope that you remember me. Come on. Let's go. Everyone's waiting. Yo! What's up, Ryoji? <sighs> it's a painful decision, but it's yours to make. That's right. But it's impossible to defeat Nyx. We'll go as far as we can. We have to try. <laughs> You're the only one saying it's impossible. Personally, I don't care if it is. All right, then. It's almost midnight, so I'll make this short. I should tell you where to find Nyx. She's at the very top of Tartarus. On the promised day, you have to make your way to the top of the tower. On the promised day? It's exactly one month from tomorrow. Damn. January 31st, 2010. On that day, Nyx will descend to Tartarus. And that's when the world will end. One month? Tartarus is a gigantic rift in the night sky. It acts as a beacon to guide Nyx. With the Apprisor's arrival, Nyx learns that the way has been prepared, and she begins her descent. And with her, she brings the Demise. That explains why it's called the Tower of Demise. So what you're saying is, we can fight Nyx if we reach the top? That's right. But remember, after today, you can't tell us how many floors are in eternal despair. I've said it before, but Nyx can't be defeated. When you come face to face with her, you'll finally understand why. And then you'll realize exactly what you're trying to stand against. We understand. You don't need to keep telling us. One month from now, January 31st. We won't forget. Well. I'll be going then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. Ryoji-kun. I guess... I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy. And my friend. I guess. Thank you. This is probably the last time we'll get to see each other like this. But... I'll always be watching over you. Well, always. So long, then. I was like, you got like a god complex or something. Best wishes in the coming year. That's when you say on New Year's Eve, right? See ya. <laughs> that punk. We have one month until January 31st. We'll get through this together. I've made an important decision together with my friends. I feel an unbreakable bond with them. And we've maxed out uh, the fool now, right? Yep, looks like it. Confuse Usano, the raging god. We all share the same goal. Our relationship has grown stronger. Now the team is even more united than ever. Ooh, a new, uh, a new arcana. Thou shalt have 
Nick's Annihilation Team. A new year is about to begin. In one month, on January 31st, we will face Nyx. We must reach the top of Tartarus by then. This is what we've all decided. 2009 is quietly drawing to a close. It was a year filled with many memories. New Year's Day. Okay, so it was just like a cutscene. <laughs> oh, and um, Happy New Year. Yeah, let's make it a good one. Happy New Year to you too, Koro. Oh man, <sighs> I totally overslept. Why did I stay up all night watching that stupid movie? It was about zombies in Italy or something. Anyone else catch it? Nope. Why would I watch something like that? Um, is anyone gonna visit the shrine? I already stopped by enough shrines on my jogs. I'd say I'm covered. Yeah, I'll pass. I don't wanna deal with the New Year's traffic. Oh, that's too bad. Yukari-san and the others are already there. Apparently, Mitsuru-san got kimonos for all of them. Kimonos, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna run to the store. <laughs> Hold it. Huh? You're going to the shrine? I thought you didn't want to go through the trouble. No, I'm not. I'm just going for a walk. Uh-huh. Well, I don't have anything better to do, so I'll tag along. Oh, I'll go too. That's where we're gonna go. <laughs> well, look at that! Turns out we all want to go after all. Where is it? Oh, I have directions. Sweet. Well, then, okay. You actually were wearing kimonos. I thought he just made that up. What? Happy New Year. What's the matter, Iori? Kirito Senpai, you look amazing. I feel like I'm. What's this feeling? Yeah, bro, chill out. Excuse me. Happy New Year, everyone. I've never worn a kimono before. Um, my obi isn't crooked, is it? Luca. Wow, you look just... Oh. He's really thirsting wow. over everybody. <laughs> hey, come on. This traditional clothing is quite interesting. However, it's difficult to move in. Hi, Chan. Considering what you usually wear, that looks even more amazing on you. Uh, is that so? What is this odd sensation I feel? Uh, I'm so glad I came. Best new year ever. Junpei-san, why are you acting so strange? Man, what a beautiful first dream of the new year. Right, Sonata-san? Hmm? Uh, yeah, I guess so. By the way, aren't you guys cold? Yeah, a little. But I think it's kind of helping me wake up. Oh, that's not what I meant. Junpei-san said you don't have any other layers. Other layers? <gasps> wow, aren't you just a great role model for Amata-kun? No, 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 wait, wait. Oof. All 
Alright guys, I'm gonna end it off here. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot and also subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.